their mother Africa. Some of your children seem not to know their history nor who they truly are. And in that limbo, they seem to have forgotten the days we fought for freedom and instead welcome the days of daylight murder, killing brothers who fought alongside their fathers to gain their freedom. How could brothers visit such brutes upon their own kind in daylight while many stood aside and watched? I know, all shall someday account for their deeds. But for now, dear Mother Africa, our ancestors and you great white ones, please console their hearts who wait in vain for the return of their loved ones. Hello and welcome to this episode of Poetry with Oliver. Today we are going to be doing a poem titled Wake up, Africa, I weep. Dear Mother Africa, Dear Great Ancestors, Dear Great Quiet Ones, Forgive me if it seems I come to bother you again this day. Be not upset with me, Great Ones, that each time I come to you these days, I bring tidings of grief and sorrow and strife amongst your children. Yes, I do wish to come with tidings of love and gladful times. Yes, I do wish to bring you joyful news of pleasant times. I wish I could tell you that we have kept the promise of love and practiced the virtues of charity that you so well taught us. I wish I could say we have lived the life worthy of us, that we have kept the warm companionship of brotherhood and maintained the amicable fellowship of sisterhood. The truth is my heart bleeds with pain and I weep, I weep, not from the atrocities of those who partitioned our lands, who exploit the riches of our soil and the fruits of our gardens, not for the miseducation of our folks by foreign masters who convince us to discard our cultures and pick up their own. I weep, I weep, but not from the mourning of the many brothers and sisters that we have lost, who sought to cross the desert and the oceans in search for a life abroad. Not from the mismanagement of our resources by our own leaders, who betray the future, hold on to power, and enrich their purses. Not from the scramble for our oil wells and our diamond fields by peddlers, who sow division and strive amongst us while they plunder our lands. Not for Steve Pico, not for Patrice Lumumba, not for Thomas Sankara, not for the sacrifice we made to gain freedom to live and be. No, dear Mother Africa, the truth is some of your children seem not to know their history nor who they truly are. And in that limbo they seem to have forgotten the days we fought for freedom and instead welcome the days of daylight murder and genocide. Some of your children have thrown away their humanity and turned against their kind in cruel brutality, killing brothers who fought alongside their fathers to gain their freedom, maiming sisters who cared for their mothers when they were down, stoning children of parents who shared their food and clothing and shelter when they were oppressed, while many stood aside and watched. Now, those who plunder us laugh at us and wonder at our ears. How could people of a kind be so cruel and inhumane to one another? I know all shall account for their deeds someday. But for now, dear Mother Africa, our ancestors and you great white ones, please console their hearts who wait in vain for the return of their loved ones, who traveled to their brother's land with hope to find a living. Wipe away the tears of heartbroken mothers and grieving relatives whose children and brethren will never come home to them again. Bestow on us the strength to rise above hate and let love reign. Yet, for now, dear Mother Africa, please hold me in your arms and suit my aching heart, for I will need your grace to find it in my heart to forgive these ills. For now, I weep for this Africa. <laughs>